Hi Floss Tube, it's Janet, Janet with Janet Jabber. I'm coming at you with episode 220. If you're new to my channel, this is Channel Black Cross Stitch. I hope you like what you see. Please subscribe if you've not subscribed in the past or if you're new here um, and comment, interact with me, all the things, like the video. If you're a returning friend, thank you so much for stopping by again this week to see me. I um, am so blessed that you take the time during this busy season to get a little bit of a uh, Janet Jabberin. So with that, we're going to get into stuff. First of all, um, I have, I know there's a lot of Christmas, uh, Flossmas videos out there right now. I think I mentioned that last time. I do have a couple advent boxes. I'm enjoying opening them, but they're already out there in other channels. So um, I'm sure you're seeing them. But uh, just as a recap, I have a tea uh, advent. I have a uh, Christmas Carol Advent, and I have Jenny's Countdown Christmas Celebration Box, which is a sewing one. So I am having lots of fun, and little Ozzy help, helps me open presents, um, and that's cute. But I have this Advent that I have had from Hallmark. It's a Countdown to Christmas Tree that I had for Lizzie's entire life, and I'm going to pop a picture in here. Uh, hopefully, I have a good one or good enough one of Ozzy doing this with me, and she's so cute when it it's magnetized. And when all of a sudden the ornament stays on the tree, she looks back, back at me like, ah, I did it. And it's so cute. And it's so joyful to um, be able to do that with that little one. So um, lots, lots of good uh, stepping into the season. I'm trying to make um, happy memories as we go. So I know you can see right here, the little guy, um, he had his little do. He had his little fresh up last week after we had seen you and uh, he's doing great but he wants to sit here and cuddle. So we let him cuddle. Um, all right, so with that, I'm gonna jump into some of the stuff in the channel and then get to the stitching. So first of all, um, if you are new and you have not, or you have never filled out the Happy Mail form, please fill that out. That's how I send out random comments of, and now there's a tail, how I send out random um, cards that I send out once a month in Happy Mail. I enjoy so much being able to give back to the community. So um, please fill that out. There are links of my friends that sell stuff down there. And I also have a couple links and I want to say thank you to Fran and Zamia. Um, they uh, contributed. So thank you so much for that. Um, with that, I have one other thing that I have not done in a while, and it is time with the season to get back into it, and I am happy to. So I have two giveaways to give away. Um, with my giveaways, basically, you just say the number that I ask you for. So I'm going to tell you about the charts and the number. So the first one is a pine lane. It is called Merry Christmas Red Work. So you're just going to say one for this one. Merry Christmas Red Work. One. That one still be a quick stitch. This one would not be such of a quick stitch, but this is Cory Book Cory about a Cory, um, and it is it's Santa Claus something. I don't know. You're gonna say number two, two on this one. So if you want the other one for a chance at that drawing one, and if for a chance for this one, two. So those will be drawn next week um, before I record the video. So uh, just time. I feel I just. It's, it's time to jump back into the giveaways. I just hit my bookshelf. Um, all right, something else we love to do on this channel is my featured friend. I was a reminder as I step into this, I want to remind you if you would like to potentially have a piece of your stitching shown on here, whether it's fully finished, finished, whatever in progress, I don't really care. I like, I just put you in the queue and we go through the list, but my, um, I love doing featured friend and I get so many positive comments in regards to it here. So with that, Chrissy, who is a dear friend of mine also has sent me this. It is Caterpillar Cross Stitches Positively, Positively Lift Sal. Um, I loved watching uh, the little bits that I got to see of Chrissy sharing that and she picked out the perfect frame. Um, I have already told her that. I love how it turned out for her. Um, so thank you very much for sharing that with us, Chrissy. Uh, it's always a joy to stitch with you and always a joy to share your stitching on here. So again, now we're going to get into my stitching. Um, sorry about the little bit of glare. We're at that time of the year where like it's, I don't know. I, it's weird when I record, I guess. I don't know. All right. Um, well, my cat is sitting on my board. So I guess we're doing this with no board right now because everyone wants to be with me right now. I have two finishes and this one um, is the last of a series finish. So this right here is the December Mini Boutique by Jeanette Douglas. These were freebies um, in 2022. I think you can still find them on her blog. I feel like that's where it is. Um, so 
I am excited to have this last one done and then I will go along and we'll see. You know how I finish slowly. <laughs> but I have a second finish and this is Harvest by Chocks Full, um, the Chock Full series Harvest one and I'm just doing the little pillow. So this is the pillow that will be there. Very simple. I have one more in that series and that'll be done. I'm hoping to finish that out by 2023. All right. So that is what my finishes were for this week. We're going to move into my whips, which are works in progress. Um, so the first one, if you have the Christmas Carol and you do not want to be spoiled, please look away. This Christmas Carol is from Forbidden Fiber Co. I am staying almost up on it. All right. I'm getting ready to show it. This is what it's looking like. I love it so much. I was told I would love it and I am loving it. So that is where I'm at on it. Like I said, I'm doing a fairly good job of staying up on it. Um, so hopefully I can play some catch up this week because this last week was busy. All right, you can look back now. Um, my Christmas piece that I'm kind of also working on, I had chosen for this month. It will not be done this month, but it is my Mrs. Chris Miss Christmas Eve by Mirabilia. Um, she's coming along. I am right down here in the red of her dress. And this is where she's at. Oh, I would so love to get that red section done because she would be slated for like a monthly focus next year. But she's beautiful. I'll definitely be putting on my whip go for next year. And we'll see where we get on Miss Christmas Eve. I feel like she definitely will be a finish next year. My next piece that I have going is Stars Hollow. I did not get the piece out, but I will show you. Um, I'm basically working on this house right here. It is taking forever for this house and you can't even see it's white stitches that I got done. But I, this one, I would love to have finished by the, re, the next uh, digital retreat that I have. I think it's in March um, to finish off this series, but we'll see. I'm kind of just plugging along. We'll see where we get with it. What can I do? <laughs> um, my next stitch that I have is my Mill Hill Monday. And that is the gift tag that I'm working on. And again, I would love this one to be done by the end of the year. This is where I'm at. It's coming along, but the beating kind of slows me down when I get that point. But I'm trying to focus on the next couple of weeks of getting those finished by the end of the month. Um, so my next one, again, would like to be finished because I have another, I, I have different ideas for next year for my Monday, Wednesday, Friday stitch. So I want to get these wrapped up. This one will be a hard struggle to get finished, but this is um, Flying Lessons by Silver, Silver Creek Samplers. And this is where we're at on that. I basically worked in the broomstick. I had, like I said, not the greatest stitching time this last week, but that is where that is at on there. And that's all my stitching. So if that's all you're here for, that's all I've got. I have some other things to share. I have Christmas cards, a tiny bit of haul. Um, and I have, uh, Oh, I have my personal stuff I'm super excited to tell you about. So let me um, get these real quick. This is from Miss Minnie Mouse Gray. This is a beautiful card. Thank you, Minnie. Thank you, Miss Minnie. I say Minnie Mouse by accident. It's Minnie Gray. Minnie, I have an ancestor that literally is named Minnie Mouse, and it just rolls off my tongue when I say Minnie. <laughs> so thank you very much for that, Minnie. Um, my next one is a card that I received from actually some dear friends that I just found out from this Christmas card that they watched my video. So Bob and Gloria, I'm pretty sure it's Gloria that watches me. Thank you very much for the Christmas card um, and watching the baby grow. My next card that I received is a card from Pam and Steph. Thank you very much for that Pam and Steph. I received a postcard from Charlene and Morgan. I love this hand-drawn watercolor look. This is beautiful, thank you. Couple more people, couple more. I got a cute little snarky little card from Miss Vicky. Thank you, Miss Vic, stick a stitch and button. And last but not least, Mandy, um, stitching with me, no, stitch, Mandy Parker is who it is, but uh, I watch her channel. She, is, she has this beautiful little cat that likes to be part of the scene also. So thank you for this. This is a beautiful, beautiful stitch. Um, and this is a cross stitch pattern, I do believe. This is, is this one that you've stitched, Mandy? I think it's one that I 
Tell me, Mandy. All right. And then I received a gift in the mail. Besides Fran doing buy me a coffee, Fran sent me a mirabilia. I love this little mermaid mirabilia. So thank you very much for that, Fran. And that is the gifts. Now, I did receive my bobble book from the Jingle Ball. Um, super excited about this. This is a little ornament book to where it was, you, you paid the little bit and you got every designer did a, a gift in here. So that was super cool to be able to acquire. I did a tiny little um, haul from Keepsakes. Uh, got me these two. They've been on my wish list for a while. Um, that is not part of it. These have been on my wish list for a while and I acquired them from there. And then last but not least is our good friend, Athena, Stitching Goddess Designs. Um, I, my thank you card fell on the floor, Athena. Um, I couldn't miss out on this t-shirt for cozy stitching vibes. I got a long sleeve because it just gets cold this time of the year. I get so excited to uh, be able to cuddle up in this and um, stitch we don't have no snow around here yet, but I keep hoping it's coming. I don't, we're not having a white Christmas, not based on the forecast, no white Christmas here, but I'm ready. I know that's the, the, not a heavy word for so many people, but I do look forward to snow. So, all right. So that's all of that kind of stuff. What are my plans for this week? Um, I'm going to work hard on my, um, I'm going to stay, get caught up and stay caught up on Christmas Carol. Uh, I would like to get those minis done. Um, I have a couple more. Like I have a stocking for December for my black or my um, Blackbird Design stocking. I have one more year of those, and then those stockings are all done. Um, Miss Christmas Eve. I'm looking around. I don't know. I don't know what other goodness. I don't have my whipcos done, so let me try to get those knocked out this week. That would be awesome. Uh, so, and I, I have I have all kinds of the positive vibes. I have appointments this week, but I still think I can get that done. Oh, the new pick. The new piece for Castle Homecoming came in. So I'm stitching with my friend Chrissy this week. So I, I calculated it or I did the math. That's like 2000 pieces for that or stitches that need to get done for that one. Fingers crossed that happens. So I have a retirement class this week. Um, this is my third segment of my retirement class. I'm learning so much. I'm telling you, uh, you get to that point. I did this with my dad in 2014 to get him ready to retire. And now I'm doing it again for myself. And I'm so glad that I did it the time before because I feel like I understand their language where if I didn't understand their language back then, but it was okay. It was for my dad. But now since I've had that one before, which was 10 years before retirement ish, I, I don't know. I just think everyone should invest in themselves in regards to prepping themselves for retirement because this man had some business to tell me um, about social security that social security won't tell you. But when you're in a group like mine that retires lots and lots of people, um, that's his job. It's his job to do be my benefits person. It's his job to like make sure that I can get the best and do the best that I can. So good information to know. Um, all right. So this last week, besides my retirement class, and I have my last one this week, I had um, I taken the day off for the hometown Christmas event. I'm showing you this cute little newspaper thing. Um, my husband has been in the newspaper several times because of the haunted house thing. So the photographer saw him and I out doing the hometown Christmas, which is our downtown area businesses. They all open up. Some of them have snacks. It's just like a little festive thing, like reindeer are there, Santa Claus is there. Um, I don't know. There, it's just fun. Little vendors. There's a tent with little vendors for you to go through. So it's just a fun little hometown thing. So she took a picture of us and because she says his name wrong sometimes. So this picture is a cute picture that was put of us in the newspaper. It was super cute. <laughs> and I wanted to share um, because there's not many pictures of my husband and I that get snapped together. And then I've teased you all last week about it, but Ozzy's birthday was this last Saturday. It went off great. I, don't, I think without a hitch, well, there was a tiny little hookup, but it got worked out. No problems. Um, so I am going to pop pictures in here and I'm going to overload you, but I have to share the goodness. My daughter worked so hard on this, uh, wonderful, the wonderful wizard of Ozzy that, um, I have to share. She did a backdrop. I know these are probably not in order of me speaking. She did backdrop. She made all the cupcakes decorated. She decorated the smash cake. She, um, uh, decorated this awesome little sign that was a directional sign. Uh, it was just so good and so fun. And other than 
when it came time, as he even had her nap, but when it came time to open the presents, about halfway through, she was done. Um, we got through it and we got everything cleaned up and put back in order. And uh, it was a good day of, I can't believe my grandbaby is one. I'm just blown away that it has gone that fast. And now we are 30 days away-ish from my second grandbaby comes. So it, we are moving and a shaking around here and Christmas is still coming at us. So um, yeah, with that, that's it. That's all I got to share with you for this week. Um, I am excited to get this week moving along and see what's coming on. Um, I do have goodness planned for this week and I think I have done good about making little goodnesses throughout this season so that it keeps me more joyful and not uh, in the moment ish because like last night I was sitting with my grandbaby and I was like oh your great grandma my daughter my mom your great grandma baby would be so loving on you and I am so happy that she taught me how to be a good grandma so um just blessings just blessings so I'm gonna get off of here so you can get on to your next floss tube because I know there are so many out there so please keep stitching enjoy life and I'm sending you so much love bye